Socrative is a great way to assess students and get quick feedback. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up a free teacher account. So you're going to go to teacher login and after you've set up that account um, then you can sign in. You can even use your Google account. Notice that I just went to Socrative.com to sign in. Once I sign in it's going to go ahead and take me to the dashboard which is where I can start quiz, make a quiz or edit a quiz and even change my account information. So I'm going to actually change my room right now so I'm going to go to my profile and I'll go ahead and fill in information here. Notice that my room name um, right now is kind of random. You can actually choose your own name so um, I might see Miss Horn if that's taken um, and that way it will be a little bit easier for your students because they can type they will type in the room name every time they go to take a quiz. So um, I'm actually going to save this. Oops. In order to update that profile, um, I had to put in the school that we were at, um, just one of Northwest ISD schools. So now you can see that my room number, um, or in this case not a number, but is Miss Horn. And then if I go to Manage Quizzes, you can kind of see your options here. So you can import a quiz, um, your quizzes will be saved here under My Quizzes, or you can go to Create a Quiz. So quizzes can then be shared within student or from teacher to teacher. For now, we'll name this test. And then you can decide whether you want short answer, multiple choice, each type of question. So for now, we'll add a short answer question. Um, what did you eat for breakfast? Um, now, some of these, if you're going to want them to be graded, um, well, you'll need to put in an exact correct answer. Um, or you can just leave it as... Um, short answer where you can go in and read the direction or read the answers and grade them manually. Um, correct answers, you can see that's optional. I'm going to add oatmeal here. So they win if they get oatmeal. Notice that you can add images um, and then you can add as many questions as you want. So then I might go and add a multiple choice question. You put in your answers and then you want to make sure that you go ahead and choose which is the correct answer. So maybe for a spelling test, um, you're going to give a definition and then have them put the word. Um, or you might even put in four words and only one of them spelled correctly. It's totally up to you to decide how you want to do this. Um, once you get all the quiz questions put in, then you can go to save and exit here in the top. Oh, and I actually did not choose my correct answers, um, so I have to put in something here. I'll go ahead and fix this. So here I just went ahead and put yes and no and then chose the correct answer and now it should let me save and exit. So you can make this quiz however long um, or short you want it to be. And now you've got your quiz here. So then when I go back to dashboard if you want to start a quiz you can pull up the quizzes that you've made and then you can choose whether you want student pace, the student goes through on their own, um, or you want teacher paste where you take the uh, students through each question. And then you see you've got some other um, settings. Disable student names. You're probably going to want your student, uh, student names if you're going to put grades in the gradebook. And then when you're finished, you're going to click Start. When the students take the quiz, they're actually... So the students are actually going to go to Student Login. And then they're going to put in the room name. So since I've already started this quiz, once they put in the room name, they're going to see the quiz that was created for them. They can use any device for this. So then I'll put in my name. And now it's going to send straight to the, the question that I have. So let's see, oatmeal for breakfast. And it actually told me I was correct. And then I'll get this one incorrect. And it's going to say no. So as the students go through, then back over here from the teacher view, you can see um, real-time feedback as the students are completing the quiz, which one's right, which one's wrong, in your percentages. When you're finished, you can click Finish here, and then you can say whether you want an Excel document, a PDF, how you want to receive those answers, and maybe you even just want a chart. So um, this is a really great way to get feedback. And remember that to save and view your quizzes, you're going to always go back to Dashboard. Um, and you've got other questions too, such as quick, it, um, quick questions, space race, where kids are on colored teams and they're seeing who can answer first. And then just your simple exit ticket. So it's great to take advantage um, of all these types of feedback. Enjoy using Socrative.